What's up guys? Welcome back to Kamotic Reviews. It's been a while since last na nag-upload tayo ng video and it is because uh, nag-bakasyon muna tayo. But hey, anyway, we are back and we are gonna do a product review. I-review natin tong mic na to. Ang Fine Fine Ampli Game Gaming Microphone. So ano pang hinihintay natin? Let's do this! Full disclosure, before tayo mag-proceed sa review na to, pinurvide sa atin ng Fine Fine ang mic na nire-review natin ngayon. However, hindi natin sila binigyan ng preview ng video na to. So, makakaasa kayo na ang ibibigay nating opinion dito is our honest review of this particular product. Yung mic na re-reviewin natin ngayon is made by a company called Fine Fine. So, ang unang basa ko dito actually is Fifin. Pero nung tinanong ko yung manufacturer, ang basa raw talaga dito is fine, fine. So, anyway, just to let you know, kung bakit gano'n ang basa, tanongin nyo na lang yung manufacturer. Anyway, here's what you're gonna get inside the box. So, you're gonna have your user manual. Maganda yung pagkakagawa and I encourage you to read it. Then, you have this USB cable. So, it's USB-A to USB-C. So, yung mic na to is a USB cable and ang gamit nyo is USB-C. This is around 2 meters. Then, you have here your metallic tripod mic stand and you have the mic itself yung mic actually may kasama na siyang shock mount so ito yung mic ito yung shock mount and meron na rin siyang kasamang uh, pop filter magaan tong assembly na to yung mic mismo is plastic then yung uh, pop filter or oh, sorry yung uh, pinaka shock mount niya is plastic din and then yung pop filter plastic din to ito lang mesh dito yung metallic no yung wire mesh yung metallic but overall magaan talaga tong mic na to. So, that's what you're gonna get inside the box. A total of 6 items. Actually, kahit apat lang yung nakikita nyo. It's 1, 2, 3, then 4, yung mic itself, 5, yung uh, shock mount, and then number 6, yung pop filter. So, let's talk about the features of this mic. So, ngayon, uh, kung mapapasin nyo, naka-on na mic natin, sinaksak na natin siya or kinonect na natin siya sa PC natin using that USB-C cable kanina. Pero yung gamit nating audio sa part na ng video is still our wireless lavalier mic. Mamaya, lilipat tayo dito sa mic natin pag gumagawa na tayo ng sound test. So, anyway, first off, this mic is a USB condenser microphone with a cardioid polar pattern. So, yung kanyang uh, pick up ng sound is ito yung pattern sa harapan, sa likod mas mahina yung pick up niya, saka sa gilid kumpara dun sa harapan it's a front facing microphone, so dito kayo sa harapan magsasalita, hindi sa taas next, meron siyang RGB as you can see, no? and I'm pretty sure yung mga gamers and streamers na gusto ng RGB uh, dun sa kanilang streams, pagdating sa mic nila this one has RGB then you have the mute and unmute button dito sa taas ng mic. So pag tinap ko to at namatay yung ilaw, ibig sabihin naka-mute siya. Pag tinap ulit natin and uh, buhay na or nag-on na yung RGB lighting, that means unmuted na yung mic. And then sa ilalim ng mic, you will have the gain knob or volume knob para dun sa lakas ng pickup ng microphone. So there you go. Those are some of the features of this mic. Now we will be doing some sound test. So, itong part na to ng video, hanggang sa matapos na itong video na to, ang gagamitin na nating mic is ito. So, ngayon, ito na yung gumaga ng mic. And, um, nilagay pala natin siya dito sa isa pa nating mic stand. Hindi natin ginamit yung uh, kasamang mic stand kasi gusto ko siyang iangat and uh, mas malapit sa bibig natin. And para din makita nyo sa video kasi pag ito, masyadong mababa. <laughs> dito, hindi nyo makikita na ito yung gamit ko. But aside from that, actually, sabi rin ng manufacturer na itong mic na to, best yung sound niya kapag if it's around 5 to 6 inches away, uh, galing sa source ng sound, and also kapag yung gain knob sa ilalim is around 60%. So, yan yung settings natin ngayon. So, 60% gain knob, and we're trying to speak around 5 to 6 inches away dun sa mic. And raw din to, meaning yung sound na naririnig nyo, walang filter tayong ginagamit sa software natin, hindi rin natin in-enhance or i-enhance sa post-edit nitong video na to. So, as is tong naririnig yung sound. So, anyway, this should give you an idea or flavor kung ano yung sound nya uh, unedited. So, uh, we will do some uh, different tests, uh, just like what we always do para sa mga mics natin dito. 
So, unay na natin. First off, let's have that ambient sound test. Tatahimik lang tayo just to see kung ano yung mapipick up yung sound dito. Medyo tahimik tong room ko. Ang nakabukas lang ngayon is yung aircon natin. May mga narinig akong boss sa labas ng room but let's see kung mapipick up siya nung mic na to. So, tatahimik lang muna tayo. So, there you go. No, yan yung ating ambient sound test. Now, we check that cardioid polar pattern na sinasabi natin kanina. So, supposedly, mas malakas yung pickup ng sound niya kapag nandito sa harapan. And then, habang pumunta tayo sa likod ng mic, humihina. So, we will test that. Uh, supposedly, yung ibig sabihin din nun, if you want some noise rejection, yung mga sounds na ayaw nyong marinig, ilagay nyo sa likod ng mic. So, itest natin yun. I'll play a long beeping sound na iikot natin dito sa mic. Ikot natin. So there you go, no? Yan yung ating cardioid polar pattern test uh, which shows, no? Supposedly na dito malakas. And then, habang nasa likod or iniikot sa likod, humihina yung sound na yun. Now, we go do some sound proximity test. So, right now, ito yung supposedly na uh, optimum sound no? uh, nitong mic na to. But, uh, let's try. So, salita tayo ng malapit na malapit muna. Sound check. Test mic 1, 2, 3. Sound check. And then, ito yung uh, optimum sound check. Test mic 1, 2, 3. We will move na siguro mga at least 1 meter away. So, I think this is one meter away from the mic. Sound check, test mic, one, two, three. And let's move uh, two meters away. Sound check, test mic, one, two, three. Sound check, test mic, one, two, three. Alright, so that's supposed to give you an idea kung gano'y yung pickup ng sound ng mic na to based dun sa layo ng uh, source ng sound. Then we do some keyboard sound test. So just in case you're streaming or gaming, of course, you gamit kayo ng keyboard. And tingnan natin kung gano malakas or gano kalakas yung pickup niya ng sound sa mga keyboard. I'm using a mechanical keyboard na may uh, Gateron Brown switches. So here's how it sound. Relative sa position ng mic, no, itong ating keyboard ay eh, nasa bandan ditong side, no. So pakita natin dito. So ito yung ating keyboard, yan yung uh, kanyang uh, position, yung position, and dito yung mic sa side na to. Alright, so let's try. And of course, let's try yung uh, rage typing. Alright, so hopefully that gives you an idea kung ano sound kapag meron kayong ginagamit na mechanical keyboard. Next, we do a test na uh, kung saan itatap lang natin tong ating table saka itatap lang din natin tong mic stand kasi nakakapick up pa rin yan ng sound. So, tingnan lang natin ano yung may pick up nitong uh, mic pagdating sa mga scenario na yan. So, for example, itong munang mic stand natin, let's say, uh, you know, may scenario kasi na accidentally na tatamaan nyo yung mic stand din nyo. So, tingnan natin. So, yan yun. And then, pagdating sa table... So, there you go. No? We just want to check kung ano yung magiging pick up ng mic na to sa mga ganong scenario. Next, we do a plosives test. So, ano ba yung plosives? Yan yung, uh, let's say, yung mga sounds na naproproduce ng T, ng P, and then B. Kasi medyo parang sumasabog yung mic minsan kapag kaya yung mga ginagamit yung uh, mga consonants, no? yung mga words na may letters na yan. Uh, so, yun yung purpose ng pop filter. So, what we're gonna do now, magsalita tayo ng mga words na may ganon. So, for example, right now, with the pop filter, sabi natin, pop, pop, pizza pie, pizza, bicycle. Alright? So, that's it with the pop filter. Tanggalin natin yung pop filter, no? Alright? Walang pop filter, and ito yung mga sounds doon. Pop, pop, pizza pie, bicycle. Alright, so hopefully may narinig kayong difference using uh, this pop filter and it's supposed to improve the sounds against plosives. 
Acoustic guitar test tayo just in case interesado kayo sa sound ng mic na to kapag i-record niyo yung music niyo or stream niyo yung music niyo and also uh, a little bit of vocals. So, let's try. Anyway, tapos na natin yung kanta na yan. So, there you go. No, uh, Ganyan siya kapag mag-record kayo ng uh, acoustic guitar. And of course, that's still unedited, uh, unenhanced. So, yan yung makukuha nyo raw. And yung vocals, obviously, hindi ako ganun magaling kumanta. But, <laughs> at least you can have an idea no, kung uh, paano siya kapag uh, pinagsabay nyo yung vocals and guitar uh, using this mic. Next, we do our electric fan test. So, obviously, we just wanna know kung paano yung pick up ng mic na to pagdating sa ganyang klaseng scenario na may electric fan kayo sa tabi. No, lalo ngayon, mainit. So, you'll probably use yung electric fan habang gumagamit kayo ng PC nyo or habang nag stream kayo. So, on natin. So, this is uh, speed 1. Tingnan natin yung pick up ng mic. Then, we go to speed 2. And then we go to speed 3. So there you go. So yung electric fan is nasa gilid ng mic natin. And also yung distansya niya is mga around uh, almost uh, 1 meter away no, doon sa microphone. Now, if medyo malakas yung pickup noon, yung parang doon sa wind... Uh, isang advice dyan is ilagay nyo yung microphone or yung electric fan sa likod ng microphone para hindi masyadong malakas yung pickup nyo ng sound na yun. Alright, so now we're done with all the different tests and we're ready to give our final thoughts. Pero bago ko gawin yan, sasagutin ko muna yung mga ina-anticipate ko na magiging frequently asked questions. First up, Pwede ba to sa cellphone? I'm pretty sure may magtatanong yan sa comment section. Pwede ba to sa cellphone? Yes, pwede. Pwede siya sa, tinry ko siya sa Galaxy S21 ko. Tinry ko rin siya sa iPhone 12 Pro ko. And gumagana tong microphone na to for both cellphones. But since this is a USB microphone, kailangan nyo lang ng meron kayong tamang OTG connector. So, ito yung OTG connector ko para sa Galaxy S21 ko or sa Android phone ko. Uh, it's a USB-C to USB-A connection. And ito naman yung ginagamit kong um, OTG connector para dun sa iPhone 12 Pro ko. No? This is uh, from Apple themselves. Lightning to USB sa ilalim. Saka yung para sa charger din. If I'm not mistaken, this is the lightning to camera uh, adapter. Something like that. No? Then, so that's it, no? Yung question na yan, will it work sa cellphone? Answer is yes. Secondly, pwede ba yan sa V8? I'm pretty sure yung mga <laughs> kadalasan na nasa channel natin nagtatanong lagi pagdating sa mic, pwede ba sa V8? The answer is no. This mic will not work here. The reason being, this is a USB microphone. USB microphones don't work dito sa V8. Alright? Then, thirdly, I'm pretty sure someone will ask, magkano to? Uh, right now, ang pressure nito is around 2,000 pesos-ish. But I will leave a link sa description ng video na to para makita nyo yung current price or real-time price based on sa link na yun. Alright? What do I think of this mic? So, let's talk about first the good stuff about this mic. Then, let's talk about the bad stuff or things that can be improved upon dito sa mic na to. So the good stuff, first off, the sound. 
this mic has really good sound it can capture really good sound so yung vocals is very clear and then yung uh, even yung pagkakarecord ko ng gitara kanina was also very good hindi nagiging muddy yung sound so i really like the sound of this mic and when it comes to mic that is the most important thing maganda yung pagkaka-capture ng yung sound then uh the other things when it comes to the features of this mic i like that it is usb-c dapat lahat na ng devices should be usb-c you know all the industry all the tech stuff now is usb-c in mga mobile devices and everything usb-c so the fact that this is USB-C is really good. Medyo na turn off na ako ngayon sa mga micro USB na devices. So I like that no na USB-C siya. Then thirdly, uh, third thing that I like about this, yung subtle features. What do I mean by that? Yung mute and unmute button nandito, hindi obvious na mute and unmute button. Parang yung normal na top ng mic pero dumo pala siya ita top and then mamamute and unmute na. Then dito sa ilalim, nandiyan pala yung uh, volume knob niya, no? uh, gain knob. And, and again, napakasato lang niya. And then, even yung placing ng USB-C na port, no? nasa likod ng mic na ganyan, that allows you to have that cable, na, katulad niya, no? pwede ko lang i-line up ng ganyan dun sa aking mic stand, and lagyan ko ng Velcro strap, and then, you know, the, my cabling, uh, cable management ng sa mic is now really very neat. Yung iba kasing uh, uh, mic, no? andito sa baba yung uh, cable and nakaganyan siya no yung cable and it's not as neat as this one so those subtle features yung careful placing ng USB support and make this mic really look neat so i like that and then lastly of course uh that RGB now for me hindi naman masyado importante sa akin yan but for gamers and other streamers na naghahanap ng uh RGB uh sa kanilang mic then this mic can be a good option for you now, when it comes to the bad or things that can be improved upon, first off, no, is a way to control that RGB. Uh, right now, walang way to control that. So, asa lang kayo kung paano yan, program or sequence. So, hindi nyo rin siya maseset as a static. So, anyways, so, just to let you know, there's no way to control that RGB right now. Then, uh, the other thing is that you will most likely buy a desk uh stand or another mic stand or uh, uh a way para yung mic na to ay mas mailapit ninyo sa bibig ninyo yung, yung stand na kasama is mababa lang maliit lang so mangyayari yan pag nilagay niyo, niyo siya sa desk ninyo masyadong malayo yung mic and according to the manufacturer ang optimal na uh, pwesto nito is 5 to 6 inches away from your uh, mouth or from the sound source. So, the only way for you to do that is to get another mic stand. So, that means extra cost for you. Now, when it comes to, I think, no, comparison ng mic na to, yung pinakamalapit, at least for the pricing point because it's around 2,000 pesos. And the mic na close to that when it comes to gaming mic will be the Razer Siren Mini. And between Razer Siren Mini and this, I will probably, no, I'm not probably, I will go for this microphone. This fine, fine, anti-game gaming microphone. Alright, so there you go. That's our review of the fine, fine, anti-game gaming microphone. So what do you think of this mic? Please let me know in the comment section and let me know if you also have questions. I'll try to answer them. So that's it. No? Maraming salamat po sa inyong pananood. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you don't, give it a thumbs down. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe to our channel. Maraming salamat sa mga patuloy na sumusuporta sa channel natin. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out!